Hello, welcome to Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. My name is Debbie and I'm just going to do a little flip through of the final journal that we've made in the Inspired Junk Journalers group. And um, I'm calling this finished-ish. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, your journals are never completely done. There's always something else you want to add. Um, there's lots of room still in here for notes and things like that, so that part's not done either, but um, I'm calling it finished-ish. So here's the outside of the, the cover. It ended up being um, a fair good chunky size. Um, here's the tassel that... Um, there's videos for all of these things. Um, there's the, the tassel. I did... Uh, I'll show you the cover in a second here. Here's the back. I just uh, glued this, hot glued this over top of uh, uh, some dyed seam binding so that I could have a tie here. Um, I did initially close this, uh, where's my things here? I did initially close this with uh, magnets here, but as it kind of grew, the magnets still kind of close, but they don't hold it closed. So. I added the this closure here as well. So in here, there's also another closure. And there's just a little kind of journal topper flip thing here. So this flips open. And this is a kind of a puzzle. I can't remember what we called it, but a puzzle pocket sort of thing that we have with a couple pieces of ephemera in there. Um, I'll link the playlist down below so you can check out all these videos and then that closes and then this opens up here and there's a couple of pockets in there as well. So that's the the topper part and the cover. And then inside um, I made this from a file folder. So the structure is is a file folder. It's got this little flap that goes over top. Um, I put the signatures, there's nine individual signatures, but I combined them into three groups of three signatures, and I have videos showing that as well. And then um, I, I bound in those three signatures into um, a spine, a separate spine, and then I glued that spine onto the, um, the cover. So it's it's a nice sturdy spine because it's a chunky book. And then I folded over the file folder here just to make a, a pocket here. And at the back I just did a, an envelope um, type thing here. So um, I'm not going to go through everything because I did little flip throughs um, for the group anyways as we were going along. But um, I just wanted to give you just, just a little uh, look of what I did. Um, I'll point out a couple of things, I guess. I did these uh, tabs for each section, so there was nine units in here. So this can help me quickly find which unit I want to find. Um, lots of different pockets and ephemera, and uh, we did questions here. Um, I did some journal pages, I did some coffee dyed pages. I did some journal um, background pages, I guess. Um, so just a combination of different things. There's all kinds of uh, other sorts of paper here. I've got ledger paper. I've got uh, book pages. I've got paper bags. I've got coffee filters. Um, all kinds of different things in there. Um, lots of different styles of pockets and tags and stuff. Lots of them have videos on them. Um, little flip outs and flip ups and envelopes. This is an envelope thing joining two uh, signatures together and um, this was a piece of music staff page that I turned into some pockets. Um, envelopes. Just lots and lots of different things in here doilies, there's a Bible book page, we did some faux um, tickets in one of the sessions. Um, this was a three month project. We have another three month project coming up starting August 1st. Um, it's going to be quite a bit different than this one. Um, 
but I have a uh, introduction kind of video. I'll link that below if you want to check that out as well. We made these journal cards, which were cute. Um, lots of different ephemera, Bible ephemera, charts, different things. This was the flip folio that we just made in our last video. And that's it. So it was a lot of fun to make. Uh, it was a great study that we did. Um, I enjoyed the whole process uh, and we had community and a private Facebook group. So if you're interested um, in uh, this project is over now, but if you're interested in the next project, check it out below. And um, if you're one of my inspired junk journalers that are still working on your journal, um, keep going as long as you, you need to. I hope this was um, a good study for you. I hope this was good inspiration um, for the journal. Um, I'd love to see pictures on the Facebook group of, of what you've done um, with the study, with the journal. And um, hope to see you in the next project. Blessings.